sure. The president's son-in-law stripped of his top secret security clearance. Chief of Staff John Kelly bumped Jared Kushner down a notch. So his status went from interim top secret to interim secret, and it all has to do with concerns over his foreign context. Dr. Megan Reese, senior national security fellow at the R Street Institute, joins us to weigh in tonight. Good evening. Thanks for having me here today. We have been talking quite a bit about Jared Kushner, but really when you talk about uh, the, the, the ramifications of these different security clearances, that's a whole different story. Um, first of all, uh, we've been reporting on this. What's your takeaway from it so far? So I think the biggest takeaway is that the White House, John Kelly, is really taking security clearances seriously at the moment. We need to keep the U.S. safe, and in order to do that, we need to protect our secrets at the highest level. And if there's any possibility that that could be in question based on foreign contacts, that person will not have clearance at the highest level anymore. We know his clearance gave him access to the White House daily briefing and other sensitive information. Uh, some White House officials even his own lawyer said today that his responsibilities will mean that will main will be the same can he maintain that without having access to that information since he no longer has TSSCI clearance, he will most likely not be able to attend a lot of National Security Council meetings or receive the daily briefings. However, the president has the authority to fill someone in on top secret information at any time. If the president wants to continue involving Jared Kushner in these decisions, he has the authority as president to do it. Dr. Reese, before we go, you know, the, the, President Trump made hay in his campaign about the fact his opponent uh, compromised national security and classified information. Mm -hmm. So knowing what we know now about Jared Kushner, do we think that he will be put back position where he could have access to some of this information or is John Kelly calling the shots from the here on out? I think the, the biggest takeaway is, once again, John Kelly is going to make sure that our top secrets are protected and they are not going to be available to anyone who could potentially blackmail anyone in this administration. So that is the number one priority at the moment, and they are going to do whatever they can to keep those secrets protected. All right, Dr. Megan Reese, thanks so much for coming in tonight. Thank you. All right, on the way on 5 at 6.30, opioid crackdown, the new measures by the White House in America's fight to end the opioid crisis. We're back after this.